Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's back here, and today we're playing Galakron Shaman. <laughs> uh, I was requested to play this deck a while back, um, so I put it on the list. If you guys, if you guys have uh, posted like, "Oh, I'd like to see you guys," or "I'd like to see you play this," or whatever, on the channel, I'd have probably responded with, right, "I'll add it to the list." So I have a list, um, and Galakron uh, Shaman was on said list, so we're playing that. And why should I wanted to play Shaman? Partially because I wanted to play Card Shadow Walk. Partially just as I figured this deck was a solid fucking meme. Um, we're the first day of the month. If I remember, I'm gonna put in the the box I had opened. Uh, it's gonna be playing in the corner. Um, if I don't, I don't. Uh, I got basically nothing, but I got five packs, which was value. Um, but yeah. Besides that, I don't have much else to say. Besides, let's hopefully meme some people with the card Galatron. All right, yeah. With that being said, let's um, queue up the first game. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right. First game, we're against the priest. I'm all the. Oh, can I keep Gala? I'm assuming it's aggro. Uh, as you can see, I've put a couple games uh, off stream, off recording, just because I was honestly just in the mood to play some Hearthstone and get a feel for the meta um in the new season what no I, I was i was just grinding honestly some shadow walk shaman as you guys know it's like one or like free shaman i guess as you guys know it's one of my favorite decks and it was it was honestly just a lot of fun to just jam um yeah i didn't hit do i have the games i played do i have it here can i quickly look at it so i don't spread lies but the matchups i had felt very weird um is it this one nope is it this one nope where is it? is it this one nope okay i'm not gonna look for it too much more but um yeah honestly i was having a lot of fun just jamming and the matchups i got were not the ones i was expecting i was expecting a lot of like big priest things like that but i hit like Fair amount of like aggro priest, aggro rogue, like pirate rogue, uh, even warlock, and then just some other like meme decks. Like, I think I played like 10 games or so, 15 games maybe. Whatever it takes to get to this with like two losses, um, with 10 bonus stars. Uh, yeah, so I didn't honestly feel like I played that much or against that much, but it was, it was interesting. That, that is definitely the way I would put it. I would put it as interesting. It's also fun, to be fair, but yeah. Evolve is a beautiful card to draw here. Evolve's actually really, really insane. So the thing is, right, if he goes Shadow Essence here, I have Devolve into... There's two Toxins in my deck. I knew I forgot to take something into account while building the deck. And I put two Toxfins. I hate my life. I fucking hate my life. Let's so say, oh yeah, this is going to be easy game. Let's see, this one's also only enemies. Let's cycle this. Better walk. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, fuck me. Um, I guess I need to hope that he's just drawn all of his minions. Or no Shadow Essence, I guess. To be fair, if he had Shadow Essence, he would have slammed it this turn, because he had Coin Shadow Essence. That means he might not have just drawn it yet. To be fair, with all the fucking digging he's had, the fact that he has not seen it. Actually, it kind of does check out, because the Illuminates put the cards on top. Right, so that kind of does check out all things considered. I'm gonna freeze the totem here again. Draw a card. We're we're mainly just digging for Firemancer Flurg. Because again, the combo of Firemancer Flurg or Devolve Firemancer Flurg Toxman is really insane against the deck he's playing. Really, really fucking insane. I'm summoning this this turn, kind of no matter what, and I'm just hoping he has a minion hand. If he does, it's really fucking good. We eat, like, blood or something. It's, like, insane. 
Yeah, he didn't have anything. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. We're also hoping to just get to a point where, like, this is insanely huge, so Shutterwalk can just be like, ah, and you're dead. If you're also having this out, if he doesn't kill it, uh, Toxfin just says, kind of like, All right, we have the answer, which is pretty nice. I'm hoping for Blood Pull. Neptalon as much. He hit the Neptalon, because of course he did. I hate this game. Oh, yeah, I guess we just... I'm pretty sure he has mostly just... Um, spells in hand, like reanimation spells. The fact that I can actually just wipe the board here is pretty nice. Alright, always gonna keep track of Sire, because Sire can just be like, Oh, you're dead. Um, eventually, so... Keeping that in mind... Oh, okay. That's that's one way to win. Oh, it's to be fair, nowhere close from actually winning the game. I'm gonna cut a toxin. Uh, so I, I I changed the list that was playing a whole bunch of extra murlocs, which I just thought were bad. So I'm gonna cut a toxin. Um, for what are we cutting it for? I think I'm cutting it for. Uh, kind of want to do this. I want to do this, but it's really bad with Shutterwalk, is the problem. Eh. No, I think I'd rather play Snowfall. We're playing Shutterwalk in the deck. I think Snowfall is just a better card in general. For, for that sole reason where it gives you a freeze to the board so it can slow down Big Priest or Aggro decks for one turn, and that's pretty solid. Anyways, though, with that being said, let's queue up the next game. Hey, another priest. I'm assuming another big priest. One second. I'm grabbing my cover to put over my chair. Ugh. So unprofessional. Um, I'm gonna keep Theothar for as weird as it sounds. I could steal his shadow essence and give him a cult and apothecary, and I'm happy with that. Um, Zentima is really cool. Zentima is one of those cards that I really, really like. But yeah, I don't... I assume you guys remember. If you guys watch my channel a lot, you guys would probably remember that. I spent a lot of time for the last... I don't know. Three months bitching about like... Oh, my room is excessively hot when I record. It is finally cold enough outside compared to the temperature inside of my house. Where I can now open my window and it actually does the job of cooling it down. <laughs> It's fucking great. I believe it's like nine degrees tonight. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's nine degrees outside. Feels like nine degrees. That's honestly just such a beautiful. I I'm someone who loves the cold. And man, the fact that it's nine degrees now and it's comfortable and I'm able to open my window and just be like, oh, my room is cold again, is beautiful. It makes me so happy. Uh, shut up, what the fuck is this? Add a copy of the next card your opponent plays to your hand. What do I want to give him? I think I'd rather have a hem, yeah. I think I would rather him have a freeze over having actual card I'll take that can have another freeze buddy I'll take I'll take a second to Nathrius don't mind me I want to craft this guy golden really fucking bad it would be such a sick card to have golden no he's gonna steal my shutter walk he's either stealing one of these two is my guess Okay. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, he can actually steal again, huh? I 
forgot about that fact that he can steal again. I need to start holding cards in hand. That's one thing I don't really like about this deck compared to regular Shadow Walk Shaman or Free Shaman is you don't have much card draw. Like, I'm going to be stuck on this for, like, the better part of this game. And I don't really have a way to delay his Shadow Walk on 9. It's my best play is just going to be, like... Well, this reduces the cost of a card, so this means he could just Shadow Walk me at any time, basically. I just have to accept it. I'm going to gradually just build up both of these. Man, I'm so sad I lost my Shutter Walk. <laughs> I'm so fucking sad. To be fair, the deck he's playing looks so fucking sick. I, I want to be playing a Thief Rogue deck, or a Thief Priest deck. They just look so cool to me. Oh, actually, my answer is I top deck something that actually does something. Oh, well, I guess you can have this. This card does absolutely nothing for him, so that's why I don't feel bad just giving it to him. For him, it's quite literally a 5-mana 3-3. Three, three. Because if you're not playing a Galakron, you can't get the Invoke trigger. Which kind of sucks for things like Warlock, because I do think that Galakron is your best package currently for Imp. Like, just put Galakron in the deck, because Galakron's nuts. But... Yeah. Um, I probably don't play whatever I draw this turn. I just hero power. Unless it's... Okay, I play this one. I was about to say, unless it's exactly Gala. And it was exactly Gala. This is pretty good. Pretty darn good. It's actually important, um, in case he stole a Macaw with any of his steel effects, because the order he played them in, uh, Macaw doesn't freeze my whole board, which is pretty nice. Oh, that's not good for me. Alright. I'm surprised he didn't just slam Shutterwalk instantaneously. Reduce the cost of cards copied from your opponent by two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So everything he copied now costs zero. That's oh, so actually way below zero. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. You can't play Shutterwalk, which is why I'm okay just doing this. It's seven. So when I slam the bigger sire, I'm pretty sure it's the play next turn. Unless I top deck exactly Toxfin or Ice Fishing. I believe that's the play. It doesn't wipe the board quite well enough. As well as I would have liked. Toxfin here would be dirty. Imagine Toxfin right now. You develop this at the end of turn. It's just this.
Oh, that wasn't nearly as good as I wanted it to be. <laughs> That's really good for him. Honestly, what I need right now is Macaw. If I hit Macaw, I win the game, I think. Macaw plus this. That's 15, that's 30 damage. Okay, I don't quite win the game, but... Dealing 30 to the board and him plus an additional 5 is insane. That thing's big. Oh well. Oh well, I could have the Nathrus to survive an extra turn, but I don't think it really got me there. Oh well. I needed Gallic or I needed Shutterwalk. If I would have kept my Shutterwalk, I was fine. Oh well. We got our shit stolen by Theothar. Theothar is the reason people said that this deck would be unplayable. And I'm pretty sure they are very correct. I think this deck has the power level of just Shaman in general. Between the nerf to Snowfall printing of Theothar. has quite literally cut the playability of the class down in half. But it's still my favorite class to play, so I'm going to still play it. And my favorite class. I don't think it's my favorite class of all time, but at the moment it's probably my... It has my favorite deck that's competitive. Anyways though, uh, let's queue up the next one. Alright, Pirate Rogue. I think this version is slightly better against Pirate Rogue. If I had to take a guess, you have more interaction in the early game. You have more cards overall that just actually do things. Possibly just better. If it's Pirate Rogue. If it's not Pirate, we are much in a much, much worse position. Our only actual answer to anything that uh, Pillager does is turn seven in mutinous so i guess theothar theothar is really good against pillager but still need to hit the pillager or you still need to hit the theothar it's not as good as when you have theothar you have double rats you have mutinous you have things that make creatures cost more things like that okay so i need to find theothar in the next It's right fucking there, huh? Okay, can I guess I just have to slam it now, right? I'd like to wait, but I don't think I realistically can. With a coin. Yeah, it depends what he preps out. Okay, I absolutely don't think I can wait. I just need a bank on the fact that he's holding a main combo piece. Well, I got try again, which is pretty nice. Try again that also nerfs his damage drastically. I kind of wanted to take the draw. This draw would slow him down, but he's already at 10 cards, which means he has to like coin draw and then play something else. So I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, here I'm just going to do this plus copy. Just hope he has more things I can deal with. These are all fucking terrible. Well, the amount of cards I've seen in his hand that I now know he has. I know he has a, an additional backstab, a prep, regular coin, cutlass. Like, mm, no, cutlass he played. Hmm. 
Am I done? You have Coin Foxy. Realistically, I'm dead, but I don't know if you've wasted too much time. He might have wasted too much. Uh, no, he should still have enough. To, oh. Okay, that's either that's kind of telling me that he doesn't have full combo in hand. But I'm going with he does, and I'm just hoping to hit. Just has to be minstrel, right? I don't win this game by winning by killing him. I win this game by preventing him from fucking playing the game. And taking the minstrel means that it's gonna be harder for him to find the second shark. And it allows me to dig for other things. This is where I wish I had Grumble and I could just go Grumble coin Theothar copy Theothar. Uh Macaw would be really nice right now. Macaw would be the best draw on my deck. That ain't Macaw. Most of the combos revolve coins. And if he's on the mailbox dancer version, this prevents him from actually playing mailbox dancer. His mailbox dancer is normally even and then plus when you step it. Now mailbox dancer is minus two. Pretty good. Mm. Mutinous would be a really, really good draw from here. Lotheb would win me the game. What else? I, mean, I guess that's kind of what I'm banking on, just finding Lotheb. If I find Lotheb, I win. Just need to find Lotheb. Right now, I know that he's out, he's in a fucking miserable hell, but Lotheb and um, Mutinous are like my really only good outs right now. So I can't play Shutterwalk. Oh, that's not it. I'm dead. I guess I could still find Lotheb like this. No, that's a shielded Galakron. I should be dead here. One, two, three. I know he has three minions in hand. One here, one here, and one. I know that he had a foxy frog in hand from earlier on. So, I mean, maybe he didn't draw any other minions, so he still can't technically go off, but I'm pretty certain that the odds of me winning this game is next to zero right now. Yeah, that should be the rest of his minions. Actually, he's playing a minstrel version, which means he's running double foxy, double shark, double minstrel. Only like 10 minions. So he could have missed here. And I have lethal on board. Okay, no, I'm dead. Because he didn't hit scab, I should be dead here. One, two, three, four, five. Quick seven doesn't kill me. He's a pillager plus something else. Oh yeah, it would be five six. He fucked up. He was supposed to play ten move first. Wait, but this this makes it cost one, right? So he needs to have coin, but I stole his coin. He needs to have the second coin, yeah. Oh, we were managed to delay him and fuck with his hand enough where he couldn't win the game. Thank Jesus. <laughs> that game was something else. I love playing against combo, but sometimes it's fucking stressful. I also love playing combo, so that might also lend into why, but that was a very, very close game. Anyways, though, uh, let's queue up the next one. Okay, it's a warlock. I'm assuming it's even, and I'm not going to assume it's... Combo. If Mechathude was the most popular Warlock deck that I played against today, I would keep this Theothar. But because it is not, 
Um, I want to keep this. Uh, in this deck, it doesn't even make that much sense to keep. Yeah, I guess I'll just do this. It makes less sense to keep Balner in this deck than it does in other. Um, oh, this actually might be Mechathun. It makes more sense to keep it in. I want to freeze here. I want to do also a really, really greedy play of Coin Bolner. So he doesn't have the answer. I have to freeze it. Freeze whatever else he plays and to punch this. Punch with Bolner and I keep Bolner on the battlefield and then I can solo it to turn after. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for the. This play is really, really risky, but I think it's worth it. Because if he's playing Mechathune, I don't think he necessarily kept. Um, all right, I know he kept most of his hand, so, yeah. You can also go for the 50-50. No, it's the same thing. Um, yeah, it comes across the same thing. If I hero power, I can hit healing or taunt, or I'm cry, because then it takes extra damage for no reason. This at least kills this minion. And forces him to have the answer. Okay, he doesn't even have it, which is really, really nice. Yeah, that's fine. This basically just replaces the Zola, which is pretty nice. And it gives me an extra Bolner. So if he kills this one, I still have one. I'm going to go this into this. I believe Evocation continues even if you don't have a board spot for the minion. I seem to remember the priest one working even if you don't have the priest. Or even if you don't have cards in hand. But yeah. So we don't know he is on mech. Which is an important thing to know. Um, in reality, we don't even have that much of an easy way to win this. We have exactly the way of I steal your Mechathune. Okay, well, that's pretty fucking high roll. Our main way to win this game is we hit Theuthar and we steal Mechathune, or else we just lose the game and we cry every single fucking time. So, yeah. Hopefully, we hit. I'm like dead next turn. The new version of this deck is fucking filthy, huh? Yathar let me steal it? No. Red faced. Okay. This would have been a great game if we weren't playing against combo. If we weren't playing against combo here, um, we had active Galakron on 8 or on 7 into this on 9. The only thing that could have made it better is if we had Sire in our hand since the start, and it was just growing. You know, Sire on 10, Shadow Walk on 11, and then just won the game. Oh, that's not good for me. Yeah, so one of the things that everyone pointed out to me also, when I was playing Mechathune a couple days back, week back maybe, was I had cut Valdris. Because honestly, it didn't click in my mind that, oh, this card costs 1 on turn 4. And uh, thinking back on the fact that it costs one on turn four, this card is the arguably the best card in that deck. And I don't necessarily think it comes even close. That card is nuts. One mana draw or one mana draw force at your max hand size to twelve in that deck is filthy. All right, I need Theothar, or I cry. It's very simple. <laughs> very simple equation: Theothar, or I just die of depression. He's going for the kill next turn, which is interesting. He's holding the full combo. He should just hero power here, I believe. So this way you can hero power next turn and still kill me. That's not Theuthar. Yeah, I think this is fine. I don't think two mana actually makes any bit of a difference, but it does if he has to start playing cursed draw cards. I believe. <laughs> I hope. 
Also, by the way, I hope you guys all have a beverage. I don't think I said that yet this video, but I am currently sipping me some whiskey. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Smells very good. Um, so yeah. Uh, da, uh, da, da. Something like that. Again, just need to hit Theothar. That's all I actually need. If I hit Theothar, I win the game. If I hit Mechathune. If not, I lose. It's a 1 in 20 into a 1 in 10. Gotta hit the 1 in 10. 1 in 9. Freeze could also be nice here. That isn't either of the cards I just specified. Alright. Oh. I don't know why he'd play... I mean, to be fair, I could have played nothing and then I just would have tanked 10, 14. But then for two turns. But I don't think I would... I mean, I was 90% sure I was dead anyways. Yeah. It changed nothing if I played anything or not. Because he could have just played uh, Drain Soul number two on one of his minions, or Dark Bomb on one of his minions, kill it off, or Defile number two, wipe the board, then just go off, and I would have died anyways. Yeah, so this deck is very, very weak against combo, I think is what I'm noticing. Even though we beat Pillager, I think the deck overall is very, very weak against combo. Sucks to say, but I think it's true. This game is lagging like a motherfucker. Uh, sorry, I, I got a whole bunch. I played a lot of Battlegrounds today. I'm really enjoying the new quest in Battlegrounds. All the new quests are pretty fun. Makes the game very, very enjoyable. What am I missing here? Oh. Oh, Pog Champ. I'm going to open half the packs we have here. This way I can open more tomorrow, and then I can open more the next day. You know, I need to spread them out. Oh, this is a good fucking pack. Epic. I'm only missing epics from the new set, so. Alright, uh, did I open all these packs? I don't know. Ooh, another epic. Alright, if this next pack is all, is only rares, I'll open one more. Alright, we're opening one more. We're opening one more. This is the last pack I open, though. I have two for tomorrow. 400 gold to buy packs over the next... Ooh. Golden common. I love how the innkeeper sounds so hype when you open a golden, and then as a common, he's like, depression. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. Why is there a notification that I need to collect something here when there's nothing to collect here? Hearthstone creative... I hate it when that fucking happens. It's one of my biggest else in this game go look at all the new shitty epics we've opened oh yeah that was the that was an that was the epic i got and i'm pretty sure this was my second one so it's pretty great yeah oh i now have that epic it actually tells me so much that this is like this collection though i'm missing only two cards for murder pretty nice pretty nice anyways though with all that being said, this deck was a lot of fucking fun to play. No cap. Um, I wish I was able to get the side of Nathrius to work a little bit better. I've yet to really play this card to just win the game. As far as I can remember. Like, not like it's just a card that helped. Like a card that actually just slammed and just instantly won me the game. But, card is still really, really cool to play with. Every time I got close to it, it got pulled and then I cried. But yeah, anyways. With all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.